Hi, this is Tom from Vino 100 with your video wine tip of the week. Today I wanted to talk about two different wine regions in close proximity to New York City. It's the Long Island wine region and also the Hudson Valley. Both wine regions are developing, but they really have progressed over the years. Their wines are getting better and better, and they're, they're both, both regions are producing top quality wines. And I want to talk to you about two specific estates, one from Hudson Valley, one from Long Island. Let me start with the Hudson Valley. The White Cliff Vineyard located up in Garden, New York, is a, a vineyard that I've been concentrating on here in my store as of late. And they have some great wines. They, they grow most of their uh, grapes on site, and they vint their wines right there, on, right there on the premises. So they're an active vineyard and winery. And the wines are excellent. They have a great Pinot Noir. Uh, they have a beautiful Gamay Noir. And they have a bunch of great whites and also a, a nice rich style Malbec that's very impressive. But today I want to talk to you about uh, two whites that are excellent, that, which I love here in the store. First one I want to talk to you about is the, the Traminette. Uh, Traminette is a hybrid grape. It was created in Cornell University many years back. And uh, it's one of the grape varietals that are, that are used within the Traminette is a Gewürztraminer. And it tastes very much like a Gewürztraminer. It has aromas of honeysuckle, very aromatic, and nice density and a nice little bit of sweetness on the finish. But it would go great with, uh, say, spicy Asian food or you know, great for Thanksgiving or just great on its own. It's a great summertime wine. It also pairs well with many different styles of food. And uh, it's a great example of what can be produced here in the Hudson Valley. And again, the White Cliff Vineyard and their Traminette. The next one I wanted to talk to you about is another White Cliff Vineyard wine. It's a white. It's called their Wasting White. I believe it's their best seller. Uh, let me show you. Uh, it's also a blend. It's a blend of Vignoles and Sav, uh, Saval Blanc. Both wine grape varietals. Uh, both varietals thrive here in the Hudson Valley. Uh, it's a really nice fresh white. It's got nice sweetness on the finish. and It's a, just a great wine for hanging out. Um, it also pairs well maybe with spicy foods. And it's another great Hudson Valley wine. Next wines I want to talk to you about come from the Laurel Lake Estate out in Long Island. Uh, first one being is their Cabernet. Um, I have their Cabernet and Cabernet Franc, both from the 03 vineyard, uh, both from the 03 vintage here in the store. This Cabernet is really spectacular. Uh, it's $16 a bottle. It's got some nice, nice richness to it. It doesn't taste like a Cabernet from say California. It's more in the Bordeaux style. It has nice richness to it, beautiful finish, and it's one of those wines that you just want to keep drinking. It's just so flavorful and so nice, and it's a great example of uh, what Long Island can do with Cabernet. The next one is Cab Franc, and that's another grape varietal that's popular on Long Island. There are also other grape varietals are as well. They do well with Chardonnay and Merlot. But I want to talk to you about the Cab Franc today from the Laurel Lake Estate. Um, this is really nice. It's got some nice herbal qualities to it. Also, it tastes very much like a French Bordeaux. Uh, the 03 Vintage is drinking great right now. This one retails for $20, and it's just such a beautiful Cab Franc, a great Long Island wine, and you should definitely try it, and you should also visit these estates as well. Uh, Long Island has a beautiful uh, wine industry out there. You, it's a real destination resort style area You're near the beach, and you also have all the wineries. And then you should also do the Shawangunk Wine Trail with some great wineries here local. So anyway, that's my wine tip of the week, and I'll catch you again soon. You can visit me at freewinetip.com. Thank you.